refer question number 5 in your builder, skill builder. Uh, here the data is given are time is given and uh, pressures of uh, AB3 at the different timings are given. So, using that we have to find out what is the order of the reaction. You know very well half life period is inversely proportional to the concentration of the reacting substance power n minus 1 or and in this case instead of concentration we can use pressure because pressure of the reactant is given here. So, we can directly relate this equation as P of is inversely proportional to partial pressure of AB3 power n minus 1. Now, uh, see this uh, the initial pressure of uh, AB3 is 660. So, now this becomes 330 that means the time required for this conversion will be half life period. So, for first half life period the partial pressure so the initial partial pressure is 660 power n minus 1. Similarly, from this to this see that if this is the initial value then this will be the half life. So, from 5 to 10 minutes what is the uh, time taken 10 minutes. So, 10 minutes is the second half life time so which is also proportional to 330 power n minus 1. Just you divide these two you will get the order for the reaction. So, 5 by 10 is equal to. So, if you divide this by this you will get 330 to the numerator and the 660 will be in the denominator whole power n minus 1. So, this we can cancel 1 by 2 like that uh, this also we can cancel you will get 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 power 1 here 1 by 2 power n minus 1 that means bases are equal. So, power should also be equal. So, n minus 1 is equal to 1 or n is equal to 2. So, this is given in uh, option 3 in your book.